brought back a girl with her. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. I think I need to use a ladder to get up there. You a friend of Jesse's? Good birdie. Better not touch those. I don't want to make these giant birds angry at me. Hi, birdie. Want to give me a lift? No? Careful! Ah! I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> so, what's your name? Carl. Carl? No. Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. Volume? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks? Only when I'm feeling sad. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. Can I ask you about those weird guys down there? My husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish you had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony Lightbeard, the supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager. Off with their head in the cloud somewhere. You know what I mean. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about that? Well, I'll let you get back to you. Ooh, downy. Careful. Still got some bird mites on him. Ew.
Jesse. That big blue oligo you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the Greener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty. And it wouldn't be the first time that old fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Who speaks? Cause leaks. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. This, uh, friend of mine escaped the Maiden's Feast, really messed things up. She what? What kind of selfish monster would run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Well, she just thought maybe she could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Well, I hope they put her in jail. I hope I meet her someday so I can poke her with my stick! Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes, it's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would... Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little... dense. Mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, chit. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs, or get too fat, and then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume! No, son. Try again. Jeez. Um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll... eat a pig! No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. Looks like I should go that direction for more clouds. Hmm, 
Maybe this sign is only for birds. Looks like something's going on down this ladder. the way that one's looking at me. Man, I hope that's not a real bird. Hi. Hi. I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. I'm gonna sit here forever. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. I was in a Maiden's Feast too, just today in fact. Oh really? You didn't get picked either? Uh, yeah, I didn't get picked either. Probably because of that shabby dress. Hey. Sorry, I only said that because I'm sad. And because it's all turn up and stuff. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. Well, 